All right, guys, we are about five hours away from Roger Federer's 2017 Australian Open quarterfinal against the big surprise, the shock, Misha Sverev, who did the great service to Fed fans and took out world number one Andy Murray. Uh, if you're a Federer fan, you got to thank him for that. Anyways, let's break down that matchup by the numbers. So first, let's talk. First off, if you're out there and you guys don't know, it's 3 a.m. start time for uh, Eastern U.S. time over here on the East Coast. So 3 a.m. Federer and Misha Sverev are going to head head it off. So let's talk about how Federer's been serving. Uh, this is a key to him winning the match. It's key to him winning the whole tournament, and it's looking good. For Fed, 63% of his first serves are going in. That's higher. It's about two points. I think it's two points higher than his career average for first serve in. So he's had a great career. Good sign if he's serving a higher percentage than his career number. Also, a couple points higher than his career number. 82% of those first serves that go in, he's winning the point. That's pretty nice. 41% um, of the time, I like this. I love this stat. 41% of the time the first serve goes in, it's not even coming back. He doesn't have to play another shot. Either it's an ace or uh, the opponent hits it into the crowd, hits it into the net, whatever Federer's done, he doesn't have to swing the racket again. Uh, another uh, interesting stat for Fed is he's coming into the net and he's doing very well. He's very crisp and clean with the volleys at the net. 74% of the time he's gone to the net, he's won the points, 120 trips for the tournament. Um, on the baseline rallies, he is winning about half of the points. When he's serving that great, when he's coming into the net and winning a lot there, 50% uh, of the baseline rallies, that's just fine. You don't have to win every baseline rally. Okay, so let's talk about Misha Sverev and some of the stats from his match, his big upset over Andy Murray, and why I don't think he's going to be able to do that against Federer. Uh, so, first off, Misha Sverev, uh, you know, he, he serves in volleys constantly, and he even did a lot of chip and charge. Uh, he was constantly rolling that uh, lefty forehand up the line, just redirecting the second serve for Murray and sneaking in right behind it. And 55% of the time he went to the net, 118 trips in one match. That's rare on the Pro Tour today. He uh, won the point 55% of the time. Like I said, he did a great job returning. In fact, he won 45% of his return points. That's that's amazing. You know, Federer won 48% of his second serve points. That's good. He won about half of his second serve points. Whereas Misha Serev uh, is winning almost half of the return points. That's uh, pretty amazing. So um, I don't think that he's going to be able to bully Federer's second serve. First off, Federer's second serve is a lot better than Andy Murray's second serve uh, any day, anywhere. So I'm going to take Federer's serve, second serve over Murray's all day long and Misha Sverev is not gonna bully Fed on the second serve and he's gonna have a hard time with the Fed first serve and if Fed's getting a lot of first serves in I mean that's gonna make it even less of an issue another thing I think one thing to look out for is how often is Federer gonna come into the net and take the net away from Misha Sverev I think Federer's gonna do it quite a bit I think we can see we're gonna see Federer uh, serve a volley on the second serve just because you know Federer watched that tape from the Murray match he knows uh, he knows the deal he knows that he's going to be trying to come in off of the second serve and get a, a, a nice look at the net. So Federer's going to shut that down and serve and volley a lot, and he's going to look to get a high first serve percentage. Um, another thing from the Sverev match, uh, you know, he only had seven aces in, uh, I believe that was uh, four sets he won in. So, you know, he, he's not like John Isner. He's not booming away. Uh, he's not Ivo Karlovich and hitting 75 aces. But he is mixing up the slices and the spins very well. I think Federer is going to be able to figure it out, and I think he's going to get a break. Even Murray, I mean, um, Misha Sverev broke Murray eight times. That's another thing to watch out for. This number, 17 chances, breakpoint chances that Murray gave to Misha Sverev, and uh, Misha was able to convert almost half the time, eight out of 17. Federer is not giving Misha 17 breakpoint opportunities. There's just no way. So look to see that number shrink as well look to see uh this number shrink he's not going to get into the net that much Federer's going to take it away from him on the return game a lot and i just don't see him breaking roger federer in general so that's my first prediction of the match i think misha Sverev is going to get two breaks of federer max for the entire match and we might even see zero breaks from misha i don't think he's going to be able to bully the fed second serve and he's not going to know what to do with the first serve um 
Another thing we can look out for is a straight sets win. I think Roger Federer is going to wrap this one up in straight sets. He's going to hold easy. And I know with all the serving and volleying from Misha Sverev, you know, he gave up quite a few, bre a, a few breaks to Murray. Luckily, he's able to break so much. He was still able to win for him. But uh, I just I don't think that's going to happen with Roger Federer. Federer is going to find a way to easily break and not get broken back. That makes it a straight sets match. I think Federer gets broken no more than two times. Look out for that. Anyways, this has been Matt with Crunch Time Coaching. Thanks for watching the pre-match. And look out for Pete. Pete's going to give you the post-match analysis right after the conclusion of the match. Once again, that's 3 a.m. Eastern time here in the U.S. That's um, 7 local time in Australia. And it's going to be a good one. Look out for Pete's post-match analysis. Thanks for watching.